And then on the 13th of August, is he going to be ready? I don't think so. Maybe. Is maybe. he going to be ready to, play, to, play, to, think, to play a game on August 13th? Oh, no, 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 no. He would just is be cleared gonna... to play, and then okay, he would need so to... Then... He would More need to time, go through right? the mental reps. He need to be able to mental, rip it. The physical reps. trust himself. Let's trust his real. arm to rip it. He need to trust his weapons and the timing with them. He need to trust being able to be hit and get up and play. There's three, at least three, major mental hurdles after the physical clearing that he would have to pass, and that'll take at least a few weeks, um, theoretically. After that, I mean, who knows? That? Maybe he could be incredible and do it, but I think realistically, people are thinking a few weeks for that to happen. And then still. Would, would he beat Patrick Mahomes if, if if that's what the you know situation is that we're that we're sprinkling out here? Would he beat Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl coming off that Tommy John Jr. surgery? Would, would, would he would, would he beat Patrick Mahomes? We all see how he plays, how they call games for him, the kind of crap that happens. We all see it. We, you, you know you're frustrated. Did James beat him? And you all were tasting him. All of you, you were tasting him, and some of you still are. Did we beat him? Did we beat him then, when he was a baby? Did you see him last night come on TV with his chest out and say, "We're about to run this back"? No, I do not think Brock Purdy, as is, can defeat Patrick Mahomes. I think Trey Lance can. There you go. You heard it first from Bam Bam. Uh, Teradome's going off about, you know, <laughs> go be a KC fan, like you said last night. No one's going anywhere, Teradome, and you shouldn't have to leave your team to get a franchise QB. That doesn't even make um, sense. That, so, so, so for me, this, uh, whatever this says right here, it doesn't even really honestly make sense to say that type of stuff to people and fans. Also, see, those are the type of people that, and it's clearly football is, means everything to me. I, it's my son's. God, my sons, and then football. Or my mom. And the 49ers are football. I don't respect anyone. No other teams. Any other teams. Of the other 31. No, I don't like any. I don't like any players. If you leave us, I don't care about you. That's not me. I'm not that guy. I don't like other players. Not a single solitary one. There's a thing on the internet right now. Who do you want on the Niners? The ones that are here. Who's your who? Who'd you have on the Niners? No one that we didn't draft or that is not here now. So you know, saying go be another fan for another team. No, I'm I'm a grown man, and I'm realistic, and as emotional as I am about football, I am a grown man who is realistic and doesn't live in movie land. I look at football as a real life thing, and Brock Purdy, I do not think can defeat Patrick Mahomes. Just like you asses, don't think Josh Johnson could have done it, right? So if if I ask you, can Josh Johnson, if he plays his perfect game, would he beat Brock Purdy? Would he beat Patrick Mahomes? And when you inevitably say no, what's the difference? The taste in your mouth for Brock—that's the only difference. There you go. Yeah.